This is a brief tutorial on how I finish my rope. You have two options really. One is to use a stopper knot. These can be anything from overhand knots to figure eight knots and essentially that is just stopping your rope from unraveling. You pull it in nice and tight. Problem with these is if you are trying to feed that under a line and you hit that point and the ropes are tight, you get stuck very easily. Whipping is a really good option. It's basically thread which wraps the rope up and keeps it from unraveling. I prefer this, but one of the problems is it can slip off and if you don't get the technique right, it won't work. So this actually needs undoing. I did this a long time ago when I just used common thread, the sort you would use for sewing and so forth. Since then, I've got some of this, which is wax twine. This is actually what you use to sew up leather. This is the stuff you need to be using. What is this is actually called is sailmaker's whipping. So if you can obtain this, I got this from Amazon wax twine or wax thread. It's the name of the thing. So you get a length of it. I'm just going to quickly take this off, but note what I've done is I've just tied a little stopper knot here which prevents me from having any mistakes where I unravel the rope too much and it goes down here. I'm going to quickly take this off. This rope actually has a very tight lay. The lay is the twisting in the rope. A loose lay will look more like this. I have some rope which is very loose and I actually don't like it at all. I find that it often unravels and the strands separate. Uh, this is very good rope. If you're using something with a looser lay, I'd recommend getting a bit of tape or actually using a bit of the thread and wrapping that up there to prevent it from unraveling as you do this. So, to start, get your thread. Now, you want to open up the rope. You should see three strands like that. This is very tight rope. So once you've opened that up, you lead the rope through the hole and you're trying to isolate one of the strands, aim for the middle one. Once you get that, you can, I mean, you really can open up the strands I just recommend not doing it too much because it can interrupt with the lay of the rope. You want to really retain the twisting. Otherwise you have to twist it by hand, which is a nightmare. Okay, so you should have now a piece of string, twine, which has gone around one of the strands of rope. You can see there, that is the strand, that middle one is the strand which it has isolated. And it's coming through the same point on the other side. <laughs> Took me a while to learn this. This loop needs to be long enough to fit over the top. Now, you've got one long and one short piece. Get the long piece. Put all of this downwards so it's out the way. Now get the long piece and wrap it really tightly around the rope. You want to wrap at least one and a half times. The length of this wrap should be one and a half times the length of the diameter of the rope. So I say that again. The length of this wrap needs to be one and a half times the diameter that you visually see there. That was something I learned the hard way. I was doing them way too long because I like the aesthetic and actually they were slipping off and coming undone. The good thing about wax twine is you can do this really tight. It actually has very little give in it and uh, it seems to almost stick to itself. So it's very good for sailmakers whipping. Right. Perhaps that's too long. So take a few out. That looks about right to me. So, you have your loop here. 
you basically now want to find the strand and isolate it. And you're following that strand around to its origin, which I believe, if you look at this here, is that strand. So following the strand up, it's going to spiral. You just have to find it at the top of the rope there. If it's coming loose at this time, just, just pull that spiral back in. Now, undo the rope. Separate the strands. Poke the strand through that, like, like so. Okay. Now, again, you can just give that a little tug to make sure the spiraling is nice and tight. Get the short strand and pull it. And basically, what that's going to do is snug this whole thing down. What has happened here is it's too tight. So again, you can return, just pull it out. This is incredibly tight rope. So it's actually probably a good illustration of how challenging this can get. Again, return back to that step, follow the weave around. Find the strand. I've been doing some tutorials recently and, and messing up at particular points and starting again. And I think it's actually good to see me go wrong occasionally. You can troubleshoot. Okay. So now pulling that will give you a spiral. See these strands here, how they come around? I'm going to grab a separate piece of rope in a moment so you can actually see what that looks like with something that's a bit brighter. But it actually should spiral. It's really nice. It has a nice aesthetic when you get it right. Okay, so you're left with the one at the top, which is now locked in place, and the one at the bottom, which is lonely. So get the lonely strand and do exactly the same thing. Follow that up to here. Separate the strands. Now, one piece of the thread will be on the other side of only one of the strands. Again, it took me a while to get my head around this, but it really is only isolating one of the three on a three ply rope. So it's there. Now, there's a point at which these two can meet and you're just going to tie a square knot here and lock the whole thing in place. What I actually do is a surgeon's knot, which is twice under. So you're just going to go right under, right over left, left over right, or left over right, right over left, whatever you want. And then pull that down nice and tight. This is fantastic work to actually, uh, rope to actually do this on and show you how challenging it can be, but also how you can achieve it if you just stick with it. Hopefully this will give you a better understanding of what's going on as well. I followed a few tutorials to do this and um, it took a while until I could do it without actually watching that. So understanding, I think, is the most important bit. So now you just want to pull it really tight. And you should be left with something that looks like this. See that really nice spiraling? That's correct. Then all you need to do, get a little pair of scissors. And just snip off those bits. And it works perfectly. Apologies for using this um, darker thread. I actually uh, color code all my ropes so... I know which is which by the length. Um, I'm going to quickly get another piece of rope with a different color whipping, so you might be able to see it a bit better. You can snip these short at this point, or actually I get a pin and separate all the strands of the pin and brush it. It gives you a really nice brush finish. This is an example of whipping on a better rope. Now, I did this quite a while ago and you can see it's a bit loose they will eventually come undone just need to read 